A traditional knee replacement involves using a um, using jigs that we attach to the knee uh, to help us make cuts. Um, these cuts are based on the average for the for the population. Um, however, with a robotic assisted knee replacement, uh, we we perform a CT scan beforehand. And perhaps the most important part uh, of robotic assisted knee replacement is what happens before the surgery. It's the 3D planning that we do based on your anatomy rather than on the average person's anatomy. This combined with during the surgery, we're able to fine tune that plan and then use the robot arm to make sure we cut exactly where we want to cut to gain uh, an implant that is aligned for you rather than for the average person in the street. It's perhaps a little bit too early, despite the being, uh, knee robotic knee replacement being having been around for about 15 years, to say that it's better than um, knee replacement in terms of survival, because the survival of knee replacements is very good anyway. So it's going to take 15 to 20 years to see that the marginal improvements that we're getting um, are actually uh, re actually cause fewer um, redo surgeries in the future. However, what we do know is that patients report less pain in the early stages after a knee replacement, after a robotic knee replacement. And they also, studies have shown that patients feel that the knee feels more normal than uh, a normal off the shelf knee replacement does. And this is almost certainly due to the fact that we align the implants for you rather than for the average person. Uh, there aren't any specific disadvantages to having it done uh, via robotic assisted surgery. There, there are a few extra steps that uh, aren't in a standard knee replacement so that the uh, robot can see where you are in the room. Uh, we have to insert some pins into the thigh and the shin. These are temporary and come out before the, oper uh, at, before the end of the operation. Um, there is a theoretical risk uh, of, uh, uh, sorry, there is a theoretical increased risk of fracture as a result of this, um, but that complication is very rare. Um, the, the pins are either put in through two small incisions away from the wound, or as I do it normally within the wound so you don't have extra scars. The first MAKO robotic arm assisted surgery for knee replacement was done in 2006. Um, the, the number of surgeon, surgeries performed worldwide has gone up exponentially since then. And la last year, uh, over half a million had been performed. Um, about 83,000 joint replacements are, used, uh, are put in using MAKO worldwide every month. The recovery from rhombotic knee surgery takes about six months in total to fully recover. However, uh, you'll be feeling much better within six weeks uh, and be off crutches. Over 50% of my patients go home within 24 hours of their surgery, and the vast majority of the, of the rest go home the day after that. Uh, there are a small number of people who have managed to go home on the same day. Um, you'll be on crutches for up to six weeks uh, and have physio postoperatively, um, but really uh, the recovery just follows on from the surgery uh, and people are normally back to walking without crutches in about six weeks.